Spotify tutorial on coordinating the online point sheets uh, to the monitoring sheets that were set up by Warren County. You'll first want to have your monitoring sheet ready to go. You know, you've copied it and you've got all the information put in here. Each of the objectives. This is Bob Jenkins, who uh, is not at Plano, as far as I'm uh, understanding. Uh, if he is, then I am not aware. Uh, didn't really actually make the objectives, blah, blah, blah. Could be whatever here, but you get the gist, okay? Uh, just as long as you have this set up ready to roll, uh, and then, then you can make this work. Okie dokie. Then you have the point sheet set up, and this is still on the page where I've made the point sheet. I'm going to go in here to responses and change response destination because it would automatically put it, make a new sheet for it somewhere, and it probably already has for you, but you can always delete this. Choose, and then here, luckily, since Bob Jenkins, I just had it opened here. It's the first thing on here, his behavior sheet that we were just in. I'm going to choose that one. Okay, now from here, what we're going to do is uh, we've got the form responses down here now. So I'm going to rename that. I've already had some named over here, so I'm going to name it something different now just for our little test here. This was from earlier, so it shouldn't have been there. Let's rename it to R3 simply because now you can just name yours R. I'm going to have to name mine that just because of some of the other ones I've already had down here. I won't let you delete them. So for this training purposes, I'm just showing you like this. So you name yours R for responses or whatever you want to name it. I don't care. But you don't want it to be a long name because you don't want to type all that in here in a second. So this one's R3. And there you see our different um, objectives. I'm just going to shorten this a little bit. All right. That'll come in handy in a little bit. So what we're going to do from here is we're going to take, I'm just going to copy this just so I have the same exact information. I'm just uh, copying it. Same information there, and I don't have to remake that. That was my lazy way around it, but, you know, why redo something if you don't have to? So there's that. I'm going to make this one objective one. And we just need to simply get some boxes here too. So I'm just going to go in there and uh, get my boxes. There we go. Subjective so one's ready to roll. Let's make it a certain size here. I guess I could do that all at once. Now, I've got three objectives. I'm going to copy them. There's objective one. Here comes two. Here comes three. I just need to name them two, three, resize them. And that way I don't have to keep looking back and forth. Okay. Now, we don't need to do anything into these. Um, what we need now is just go in here to set these up. Now, these, for me, have been previously set up. So, I'm going to have to kind of just adjust that. But I'll tell you what we got here. There's our formula. Except, we don't want, you'll want whatever you name it. R2 was what I had it named before. So I'm going to name it R3 from because of this this page. But if you named yours 62, then you type in 62. Well, no, I don't think you'd want to do that. That would probably be the numbers would probably throw something off. But regardless, whatever you name it there, and, and R will work just fine for responses. But whatever you have typed on here is this name is going to have to match this part. So that's why I didn't want it very long. So get your equal sign, R3. That means it's going to be coming from the page R3. The exclamation marks means it's going to send this information from this point, from J2, which this is probably different now. This is objective one, so I'll go over here, and it's now actually K2, because I just put it on a different column this time. So I'm going to name it K2. K2, coming from R3, boom, it should be there. Now let's just go test it. I'm going to go type in uh, 78. And it should be there. There it is, 78. Now I want to do the same here. It's R3. And now, yeah, I said it was K, wasn't it? So K3. And it should be there. Let's just check it. 44 on this time. Bam, there it is. Now I don't want to do that for every one of those. So I'm just going to come down here and grab this little box. 
it's going to be bringing you very little broken dots, dotted lines you can see. Just bring it all the way down to where we want to go, and it's going to copy that formula into every one of those little boxes. So we can test it now. Let's come over. Six. Heck, you can even put a U in there. Let's come over here. Bam, there it is. There's the U. I don't know what the U means, uh, but uh, there it is. So good. We're good to go with it. So make sure you got what you want them to get to. You want them to get 80%, whatever your objective is. And that way your chart will look right, of course. But then we'll want to do the same for objective two. And objective two, in this case, we're going to want, hey, I'm getting a Facebook message. We're going to go from N2 now. It's going to be the first one. So we're going to go in here. We still want that to be R3. Now we want N2. It doesn't have to be capital. And now that should work. Put it in here, R3. We want N3. Okay, let's copy that all the way down. Enter, should be there. Let's go and just put some numbers in. Let's put uh, T-R-O-G for troll, just because I'm cool. And there it is, T-R-O-G. Of course, we have numbers there. So we're good, we're ready to roll there. Um, so then you would do the same for objective three. Now we're ready to start getting our information over here. So let's go to our point sheet. Let's go to view live form and let's put in some um, data. 75, 75, 50, core math for Bob Jenkins. Submit. Now let's make sure it went to Bob Jenkins. Whoopsie. Yep, there it is. And it's okay if you get this break here. No biggie. Uh, let's do another one. 175, 100 core reading. Good. Okay, and submit another response. This is just during the day or even through the week, whatever. Uh, he got a zero that time. Man, he's not getting it done, man. Writing. All right, uh, so all of our data is coming in here. Yes, we got a break here, but don't worry. If you leave all this data here, these numbers automatically update in here, and so it won't throw it off. You don't have to go in and change it. it it'll be there. So sometimes this happens. You get these little breaks through here, and it'll drive you kind of crazy from what it looks like, but it ain't going to hurt your data. All right, now what I do is on a weekly basis, of course, this will get really full. A lot of numbers here, of course. Um, and I look at it on a daily basis. I might even, every day, look at their numbers. And if it's not all hundreds or something, I can easily figure. I'm going to do average. And then scroll down through there. Enter, boom, it gives me an average. Then I can copy that formula and put it all through there. Now I've got my numbers. Now, on a daily basis, I'd look at that and say, okay, you got 91 here, that's good, but 50, you know, no, 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 blah, blah, blah. You know, you would do that with your point sheet, right? For the whole week, then, and each day, I just delete those because I don't want those numbers. So then we get more numbers down here for the week, right? And then uh, we would do it again. At the end of the week, Friday, I would average, and let's just pretend this is what we had for the whole week. Um, so I've got to do it again then. Uh, that's average. I don't remember. Uh, and this was our weekly score then. At the end of that week, what I do then, if this was, of course, this is September 22nd, so I'd obviously at the end of this week be putting it in here. But let's just pretend this was August 31st. I'm going to put in my 91. I'm going to put in my 50. And I'm going to put in my 66. And then all this data, of course, I didn't set up Objective 3 over here, but there's 91. We want him to get to 80, so he'd already started pretty high there. That's good. Uh, 50. We need to get him to climb up to where we're wanting to shoot him to. And all this automatically gets sent into your summary sheet. You don't have to do anything there. Once you have to report it from the Warren County thing, there it is. Bam. Um, objective 2, it's showing it there, what we would be. Uh, and objective 4, I forgot to turn that stuff off. It's got some junky numbers in there. That's important. Uh, so there you go. That will, of course, you'll still then on a weekly basis have to enter this in here. But then it saves you a little time from having to go in here and do it all the way. So I think it's a, this is a little helpful for me anyway. I kind of like it. If this is a rough student that you or a student where you need a, a really good documentation, I guess, then you might want to keep this and your page is going to be scrolling way down here or maybe you want to print it each week and then delete it. Your typical kids, at least in my case, where you just don't 
you don't think you're going to end up going into court needing the documentation and so on, at least to that point. Um, of course, like I said, I delete these numbers. I typically, once I've got it, my numbers in there, because that's usually just good enough, right, to get the numbers, I go in here, and, whoopsie, and I just I get all these, and I go edit, delete rows five through seven. All of this automatically updates in here again, so again, it ain't going to hurt your data. It's there unless you delete it. Uh, but as long as you just delete those rows that, you know, that was put in here from the point sheet, you're good to go. Uh, and then I start over each week like this. Or maybe I get behind a couple weeks and then I put it in and then delete it. But that way I'm not having to scroll all the way down here. But that's that's, that's your call and that's your preference on that. Uh, so that's my tutorial. Hopefully it's helpful and hopefully it will help you some.